Foo Fighters cancel Grammy's 2022 performance after death of drummer Taylor Hawkins The Foo Fighters have pulled out of the 2022 Grammys following the death of drummer Taylor Hawkins, Us Weekly can confirm. Everything to know so far about the Grammy Awards according to a source, the band, will not be performing, in Las Vegas during the Sunday April 3rd, awards show as originally scheduled. The news comes after Hawkins was found unresponsive in his hotel room in Bogota, Colombia, on Friday March 25, at age 50. The Grammy winner, who was on tour in South America with his bandmates Dave Grohl, Nate Mendel, Chris Shiflett, Rami Jaffe and Pat Smear, suffered chest pain shortly before his death. The musician's cause of death has not yet been revealed as the Colombian officials continue to investigate. A preliminary toxicology report revealed that Hawkins had 10 drugs in his system, including opioids, marijuana and antidepressants, per a Friday March 26, statement from the country's general of the nation in Fiscalia. Celebrity deaths in 2022. Stars we've lost on Friday. The Foo Fighters took to social media to address the tragic and untimely loss, writing, Taylor's musical spirit and infectious laughter will live on with all of us forever. Our hearts go out to his wife, children and family, and we ask that their privacy be treated with the utmost respect in this unimaginably difficult time. The Texas native is survived by wife Allison Hawkins and their three children, Oliver, Annabelle and Everlay. Hawkins originally joined the Foo Fighters in 1997 and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame alongside his band members in 2021. Ahead of the Grammys, the Foo Fighters noted that they were postponing the rest of their live shows. Dave Grohl and Taylor Hawkins' friendship through the years, it is with great sadness that Foo Fighters confirm the cancellation of all upcoming tour dates in light of the staggering loss of our brother Taylor Hawkins. A statement read via the band's official Twitter account on Tuesday, March 29. We're sorry for and share in the disappointment that we won't be seeing one another as planned. Instead, let's take this time to grieve, to her, to pull our loved ones close, and to appreciate all the music and memories we've made together. If you or someone you know is struggling with substance abuse, contact the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, SAMHSA. National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.